Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we are having a look at the Games Master screen for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay from Cubicle 7. So if you've ever played any role playing games, if you're the Dungeon Master, you know it's kind of handy to have a screen not only to hide your dice rolls, but also to display some really useful uh, information and stats about the game. So Cubicle 7 have put out this, um, this pack which not only comes with the Games Master screen, but also has a booklet with supplemental information for your uh, your games of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, which is really cool. So uh, this is out imminently. Uh, Cubicle 7 very kindly sent us a copy to have a look at. So let's crack this open and have a look what we get inside. So bundled in this, we do get the, uh, the booklet, which has got some information to use during the game and the screen itself. So let's have a look at the screen first and then we'll have a look at the supplementary book. Uh, this is a decent quality hard stock uh, board. It's really nice and it is covered with some go gorgeous uh, artwork depicting um, Outdorf, I think. Very, very nice. Keeping up with that old world vibe. And then on the reverse, we have got all the info you could possibly need. Let's have a zoom in here and have a look at some of these. So we've got common names, so you can quickly come up with a name for any of your uh, characters that people encounter on the way. All the skills broken down. We have got character traits that you can quickly roll on. So if you want to uh, rapidly come up with a uh, character that your adventurers are encountering, you can just roll this up, which is really handy. We get a breakdown of all the difficulty tests and success levels. Really, really handy. Again, the kind of stuff that you're going to use really often during the game, so you're not constantly flicking back and forth through the rule book. All the psychology rules. Breakdown of the coinage. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Advancement costs, loads and loads of stuff on here. And then we've got some stats for weapons and shields. All the, uh, the availabilities. Yeah, that's really, really handy. And again, with the armor values. So we're using this sheet, all the kind of stuff that you're going to need kind of mid-game is at your fingertips, which is really nice to see. So yes, that is very, very nice. But like I say, that's not everything that you get in the box. You also get this, uh, this booklet. So if we have a quick flick through here, we have got essentially supplementary information on helping you, uh, Games Master, your campaigns. Uh, which is really handy. I don't think we've seen a, a hardback kind of like Games Master's book yet. But this uh, this is the kind of stuff that I'd have hoped to have seen in that. So it kind of gives you some information about building Warhammer World. Lots of ideas on how to uh, to create your universe and the various, you know, the things that make it Warhammer, which is nice to see. Now, I know a lot of us are probably hardcore, old school Warhammer fans, but to some people, you know, they might need a bit of guidance on how to run those. And again, lots of help for actually running your games of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Which is really, really nice. This kind of builds on the stuff in the core rulebook. And gives you loads of inspiration in, in how to run those. Which is really, really good. Information about costs of living. Uh, and yeah, how to create your own NPCs. So you can use this in combination with those character traits and names that you can generate from the uh, the screen itself to give you a bit of a framework on how to create a character that seems realistic, that can interact with your party. Which is really good. Big D100 chart of various uh, jobs that they've got. Yeah, really, really nice. So yeah, I think this would be really, really helpful for anybody who wants to run a game of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Uh, maybe less so if you, um, you're just a player and you don't want to kind of dabble in the games mastering. But if you are planning on running your own games, I think this is a pretty good buy. Um, they did have a starter set which had a kind of toned down version in the box lid. This is, yeah, far and beyond that. It's really, really handy. So, yeah, that's a quick look at the Games Master screen for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. We will have some more Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay content coming up on the site over the next few days. So, uh, yeah, check out the website. And until then, we will see you later.